Hey there, Internet. Keith here, and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. This video is a little different. Obviously, the title is, I don't know, you could call it clickbait or whatever, but I really do need your help, and I'll explain why. So many of you watch videos, different types of videos. Some of you watch the foam cannon ones, some of you watch the pressure washer ones, uh, and you know, even just the ones on Heidi here or my other cars. But I've always only used one brand when it comes to cleaning the car, and that's G Technic. But really what I want to do is expand and get away from the exclusivity to G Technic, except when it comes to the foam can reviews, because the previous ones have all been uh, measured based off of a singular soap. So we're going to continue to use the W4 Citrus Foam for those to make sure that we keep the control the same across them. But when it comes to just washing, uh, that's what I want to get into first, is just the car soaps. Maybe down the road we can move into quick detailers, we can move into uh, spray wax, ceramic spray, all the other kinds of things, but I want to start out with the car wash soap first. Now G-Technic has amazing products, they're an amazing company. Uh, the people there are awesome, and I still will use their products. I mean, I have shelves full of it. I have to use it up. Uh, there's Some of their products may even be the ones that I use the most, but I think I really need to expand my horizons and see what's out there. There's so many amazing products out there. People suggest them all the time, and I just really want to try them out. So if you see any of the phone cannon videos, you know about the Keef score. And I think I want to move the Keef score over to the car soaps and maybe even other things. So we have to create a process that we're going to use for this, and that's the help I need from you. Suggestions in the comments, please. Uh, soaps, car soaps, we're looking for any kind of soap. It doesn't have to just be pH neutral for coatings. We're talking about any kind of soap. We're gonna break it up into categories. We could have your prep soaps, uh, your mitt wash soaps, your foam cannon soaps, all this kind of stuff. But I wanna create a testing protocol around that because you know me I'm pretty OCD about it so when I get started I want to do it right and other people out there are doing great jobs on testing in that and, and I've been I have when we're not obsessed garage shirt I've been I'm being called in the comments at times the low budget copycat Matt Mormon now I've never set out to copy anybody but with the niche of the videos that we have there's only so many products and the really good ones are gonna have multiple reviews on them anyway. So I really don't care. I really don't want to have to defend myself in the comments and I really don't, but I do answer every comment though. Now don't worry, the foam cannon videos and the pressure washer videos, they're still coming. Obviously there's been no foam cannon recently. I've been in touch with a few companies. They have something in the works, but I have not yet seen uh, what it is. Uh, pressure washers, OG says that the uh, 2.0 actives should be out next week, shipped hopefully by the week after. That'd be great mid-September. There's another one, I already have it, but it looks like it's gonna be an embargo for probably another month or so until they get inventory. But it's an update to a pressure washer that I've already done a review on, and it's the Pro version. And it looks pretty slick, pretty costly though, but that would be a good one. But what I wanna really get into is how I'm gonna do this testing. And that's another thing I need your help with. Give me ideas in the comments. Is what I'm describing in a second of what I wanna do Correct, is there anything you wanna to add to the process? So there's two ways I'm thinking about doing the actual setup for the videos. I'm thinking about getting multiple metal sheets and having them prepped, uh, painted and clear coated just like a car would. Or just go out there and get a decent hood that's clear coated and we'll prep it and have it ready. And then I want to create my own dirty water. Uh, diff maybe different kinds using the Georgia red clay that we have here. Uh, nothing with, you know, uh, lots of dirt and rock chips in it, but I want to mix it up and create really cloudy, dirty water. Uh, and, you know, filter out all of the really, you know, stuff that would be harmful out of there. Spray it onto the panel, let it dry on. We could do some really cool tests when it comes to like road film, uh, soap, how it gets it off, uh, using uh, pre-rinses and all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be a pretty good idea without having to harm any of my cars. Uh, but basic suds, foam, uh, coverage, dwell, uh, how it clings. We're not going to use, well, hey, we use this soap and it works really well at this dilution. I want to use it at what the manufacturer states it at. Maybe down the line we can do an update video on the product and then, you know, explain, hey, this product works really well, but you have to use a little bit more. Your cost will, you know, go up because your dilution is going to be heavier. That's another factor of the key score, I believe, will be the cost. And I think cost should be weighted a lot more when it comes to the soaps based off the dilution, you know, how many, you know, washes are you going to get out of a bottle, uh, that kind of stuff. If they do offer different dilutions, what would those costs per dilution be? So it's going to take me a couple weeks to kind of get all this together, 
order the soaps. You guys are going to be suggesting uh, soaps for me. I'm going to try them out. I'm going to do a full review on just the single soap in a video. And then once I get enough soap videos out there, we'll do a versus battle. And we won't just use the same soap in every battle. Each battle will be one versus another. And then down the road, we'll have the winners of each of those battles will go against each other. And then maybe we'll, we'll do like a champion of 2022. And then we'll start over in 2023 with new products. Now, I know this is a big departure for me and it's going to cost me a lot more. I'm not hurting for money or anything. Like I said, this is the clickbait title. It's not me asking for money or anything. But if you do enjoy the product that I do a review on, links below, Obsessed Garage affiliate link, Amazon links, all that kind of stuff. The stuff kind of helps offset the cost of, you know, the products. Uh, a lot of videos make a little money. Some don't make a little money. Some make just enough to pay for everything, which works out great. For something like this uh, Wash Bay Garage, I would have built this anyway. Uh, but some of the things for the channel, I would not have bought. Like all of the pressure washers or all of the foam cannons. I would have just stuck with the MJJC and just kept it that way. I wouldn't have continued to buy other stuff. But that helped with the videos. Uh, it helps with the experience. I like doing the reviews. Uh, I don't really want to make tons of money off of it. I just want to make enough to recoup the cost of making the videos. So like I said, I've been using G-Technic for years and they've been sponsoring for a while before it was just a discount code, but my code has been doing so well with them that they've been pretty much, I've been getting a lot of stuff and not having to pay for chemicals for quite some time. I don't get anything uh, back from them money, monetarily other than, uh, you know, just stuff for free. The code is just a way to measure how well the code works whether it's worth it for them to give them to me. Uh, I've done a review just on just about everything they have or have you used them in a video. I'm really excited to expand my horizons. I, everybody I talk to, uh, friends that I have in the YouTube world, doing tons of different products and they all have their favorites. I kind of want to try them all, uh, you know, and I may wind up having my favorite, uh, but I don't want to stick myself to something. I may use multiple things. Uh, I may have to do things that I really never thought I would want to do and that's rate how well something smells, but that's stuff people like. So I could describe it to you in a product review, but it's, I don't think it's ever going to be something that's going to be on a scale and scorable other than if it stinks, uh, you know, but if you're like doing a review on fallout removers, they're all going to stink. So I don't think that's really a measure there, but for car soap, if it has a stench to it, yeah, it's going to get a bad rating. But uh, if one smells like bubble gum and I like grape or I like this, I mean, that's not really something that you can score because everybody has their own pleasant thing they like. People like soaps that smell good because it's pleasant for their experience. And like I said many times, my goal was to make car washing as enjoyable as possible. Finding you efficient ways, better equipment, better chemicals is the next step, right? Maybe there is something better. Maybe there's something more enjoyable. Maybe there's something that has thicker foam. For me, that'd be awesome. Maybe there's something out there that for you that has a better smell and I can give you a description of the smell. I apologize for that light blinking. It's probably killing the entire vibe of lighting of the video. But like I said in the title, I need your help. Help me figure out the best chemicals. Don't just suggest anything. Uh, if it's crap, I don't really want to review it unless I have nothing left to review. I'll review the good stuff. Now, I really think the dirty water idea is pretty good, creating your own control. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I may have to make like a huge monster bucket with the same dilution of dirty water. I'll just have to, to work it up each time so it's not different, you know, every time. But I really think that spraying on a panel, letting it drying creates that road grime that most of us deal with. Now, some of us don't live in California where it rarely rains and the, the weather's perfect and you don't get splashed water all over your car that's dirty and it just creates this film and that film sucks we all know it there's really not too many products out there they're going to remove it all without us having to use a contact wash i really wish we could never have to contact the car but like i said when you get that caked on stuff even on a ceramic coating you're probably going to need a contact wash so the g-wash here we're going to use that up as much as we can the w4 like i said we're going to keep that for the foam can and review videos i have quite a bit more as well. Maybe we'll give some away. We'll see. Uh, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Pressure washers, active DPO. I also have another one. I already have <clears throat> metal panels and ha the <clears throat> so we're, so we're, if they want to help, uh, you know, with the car when it comes from a chemical person and the code on the website is, oh my gosh. <clears throat> uh, my son is stomping on the floor up there. All right, I'm gonna have to go get him.
Annie, you gotta stop whistling. Okay. <sighs> Sun's whistling away in there. It's Labor Day weekend, so, you know, they don't have no bedtime. It's late at night, as you can see through the windows, but I did finally get that window tinted right there. I apologize for that light blip. Is up with that light? It's blinking. I got a freaking light over here. You blinking? What the heck that is?